When you work in a media pool in DaVinci Resolve and you sort through your stuff, now since DaVinci Resolve 20 we have a new way how we can sort our material. And that is the so-called custom grid for sorting and organizing of media pool thumbnails. I will show you in this video how you can use this, how to set it up and why this is maybe a benefit for your workflow. So what does that mean? If I come here to my media pool and this works now in the cut page, in the edit page, everywhere where you have a media pool and you, you have here thumbnail view on. So let's come to my clips. Let's give this a little bit more space. By default, I have a couple of ways how I can sort this. If I come in here, I can sort this now, for example, here by, by name, and then I have it by name. The new thing that they now added is custom. And if I do custom, I can now do the following. I can now take this clip and bring this wherever I want. I can put these in a cluster here. I can bring this one, for example, in here, and this will stay throughout all of my pages. So if I come now here in the edit page and I open my media pool and I have to do the same thing here. I have to come to custom. Now the arrangement is the same here. So this just makes your life a little bit easier if you wanna work in the media pool and you wanna put stuff together, you can do it now. This is a new feature. So this was just one of the many new features that we got with DaVinci Resolve version 20 here on the iPad. I created a complete video breaking down all of the features because there's a couple of features that you definitely should know about because they can make your editing work so much easier, so much faster. Definitely check out the video here. I will link this one here. And if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe. By the way, I'm Daniel. On this channel, it's all about the Vinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye, I'm Daniel.